The B92 protocol was put forward by Charles Bennett in 1992. It is quite similar to the BB84 protocol with the difference that in the B92 protocol, two non-orthogonal states of conjugate polarization bases are used for encoding the key bit. A key bit can only be generated when Alice and Bob uses different polarization bases to prepare and measure the state respectively. When Alice sends horizontally polarized photons and Bob measures in the rectilinear basis, Bob detects the state correctly and no key bit is generated. Whereas in the scenario where Alice sends horizontally polarized photon and Bob measures in the diagonal basis, Bob will detect anti-diagonal polarization state with probability half and a key bit zero will be generated. In other case, where Alice sends diagonally polarized photon and Bob measures in a diagonal basis, Bob detects the polarization state correctly and no key bit will be generated. But unlike the previous scenario, if the randomly chosen basis of Bob happens to be rectilinear, with probability half the detected state will be V and the key bit 1 will be successfully generated. This table shows all the possible scenarios that might occur in the B92 protocol. Of all the six possible scenarios, key bit can be generated only twice. As mentioned earlier, sifting is not required in B92 protocol. That is, Alice and Bob do not publicly announce the choice of basis for each instance of the protocol. This experimental setup demonstrates the B92 QKD protocol with heralded single photon source. For this purpose, type 2 SPDC source has been realized using a PPKTP crystal in collinear degenerate configuration. A blue dyed laser of wavelength 405 nanometer continuously pumps the PPKTP crystal with 30 milliwatt power and horizontal polarization. The crystal is placed inside this oven which is connected to the temperature controller. An optimal temperature corresponding to the maximum photon pair generation rate is maintained. This shows the detection module of Alice, where Alice prepares and sends photons in non-orthogonal polarization basis to Bob. Alice uses a combination of beam splitters and polarization optics to send vertically and anti-diagonally polarized photons to Bob along these two paths. This shows the detection module of Bob, where Bob uses a combination of beam splitters and polarization optics to measure the polarization of the incoming photon. Bob measures anti-diagonally polarized photon in rectilinear basis and vertically polarized photon in diagonal basis. After some initial testing, we went on to obtain the experimental results. We acquired data using time-correlated photon counting module and then post-processed the acquired data. Initially, we achieved a key rate of 38 bits per second and a quantum bit error rate of 9.5%. As of 9th December, with further optimization, we have been able to generate a key between Alice and Bob at the rate of 37 kilobits per second with a quantum bit error rate of 3.5%. The asymmetry in the key, that is the ratio of the zeros and ones in the final key string, has also decreased.